Good morning group and here I am still in New York. It's Tuesday morning the 15th of, I've forgotten what month, January, that's right. Uh, and here in New York it's 18 minutes past 11 in the morning. So if you're watching from the UK it's sometime mid-afternoon. And this is a video I promised to record for Denise uh, a little while ago on how to send your newsletter emails to a specific folder. Now everyone signs up to newsletters because we think we want the information in them and they're useful and lots of us like me send out a weekly newsletter or a monthly newsletter in the vain hope that people will actually read it and sometimes you get inundated with so many newsletters and your inbox is just full of them so how can you solve that issue of finding your real email outside of your subscriptions. Well, my solution to that is to send my newsletters to a specific folder and then I read them when I have the time. So I might allocate 10 minutes on a Monday morning to just have a look in that folder and see if there's anything that I need to read, if there's any information from there that I need. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this session. So here I have Outlook open now and you'll see I have a whole load of emails from a missing letter. I've been approving and scheduling blog posts to go out into the ether this morning and missing letter is a tool I use for that. It's quite a brilliant tool and I suggest you have a look at it. In the meantime I've got all these emails clogging up my inbox. So I'm going to set up a rule to send them to a folder and I'm going to call the fol folder missing letter. So rules live up here in the move group next to the quick step gallery and when I open it up I'm going to go into manage rules and alerts. The reason for that is I'm going to walk you through the whole step process of a rule. I'm going to click new rule and move messages from someone to a folder seems to be quite a good template to start from. You could start from a blank one and um, excuse my phone binging there, I'm just going to pop it on silent. First rule of recording is make your phone go silent. Now, um, I'm going to move messages from someone to a folder um, or move messages with specific words in the subject to a folder. But actually, neither of those do exactly what I want it to do. So I'm going to choose to apply rules on messages I receive. This gives me the flexibility to set the rules up as I want them. I'll then click the next button and this time I'm going to choose uh, with specific words in the um, subject or body and in the message header. Uh, I'm going to cover all my bases and say I want to find a particular word. The specific word that I'm going to look for is the word unsubscribe because any newsletter worth its salt will have the word unsubscribe in it. So you're not going to catch all of them but everywhere where we want this the word we're looking for is unsub scribe and these this word will normally be in the footer right at the bottom of the email and I'll click next uh, and I'm going to say move it to the specified folder and then I'll come and specify the folder. Now I can look through my inbox here and see if I already have one for missing letter and I don't so I'm going to create one right now on the fly I'll click new call it missing letter and click OK and you'll see it's now in my list and I'll accept it. So the rule now says apply this rule where the message arrives with one unsubscribe in the subject or body or unsubscribe in the message header and move it to the missing folder, missing letter folder. So I'll click next and I can also set up some exceptions which I'm not going to do right now and I'm going to call it unsubscribe and I'm not going to run it right now because I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to click finish and now it's in my list. Now if I want to run it, I wanted to run it from here. I'm going to choose run rules now, tick the rule I want to run and click run now. And you'll see that things from uh, anything that says unsubscribe in it will have moved. So it's not going to catch all of them um, because some of them are not actually newsletters but the ones that were newsletters have moved. And if I now go and find my missing letter folder in this list, which we just created, you'll see there are now quite a few 
uh, things in there. So it's actually gone and found anything that has the word unsubscribe in it. So I really should rename that folder as newsletters and anything that has unsubscribe at the bottom is now in that folder. So I hope that help was going to help you keep your inbox under control and find your emails that are not newsletters. Um, again, I've looked for the word unsubscribe and moved anything with that word anywhere in the email to this let this f new folder called missing letter which I could just call unsubscribe actually then I can go and read it at my leisure so I hope that helped have a great Tuesday and I'll see you on another tip sometime soon